What's up everyone? I'm Pamela. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about some of the weird promotional posters that we got for Scream 6 last year. Let's get into it. A certain rule! Push the laws and you end up dead. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life. Not in my movie. Surprise, Sydney. He's gone mad. We all go a little mad sometimes. A very simple formula! You wanna play psycho killer? Everybody's a suspect! No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I wanna be in the sequel. I'll be right back! Okay, I think it's gonna go something like this. So if you remember a year ago, Scream 6 was killing it with their promo. I loved some of the fun posters that came out. We got the subway poster and this poster right here of New York City. But today I want to talk about some of the weird things that were on this poster that I feel like we all just brushed over, don't talk about anymore, but I want to hear your thoughts on all of this. So first up on this poster here, they have a billboard for Stab the Musical. And I thought that we were actually going to see Stab the Musical. Obviously it didn't happen, so now I know that this was just like something fun to add to the poster, but I was so certain that we were actually going to see it, especially because we always see the Stab movies in every single Scream movie. So I thought this was going to be something new and fun and different to see in Scream 6. So nothing ever came of this, but more importantly I want to talk about the Mackenzie family. There are some things on this poster that mention the Mackenzie family being murdered. And if you remember, the Mackenzies were mentioned in the first movie in the very opening scene. When Casey Becker's parents come home and hear her on the phone and they know something is happening to her, the dad says to the mom, run down to the Mackenzies, call the police. Which is a callback to Halloween 1978. And in Scream 5, Liv, her last name is Mackenzie. Nothing ever came of that either, but I thought she had some relation to the Mackenzies. She probably does, since Woodsboro is a small town, and I doubt they would just randomly name her Mackenzie without having some relation to the family mentioned in the first movie. But like I said, nothing came of that either. But on this poster, in two different places, it says, Grizzly murders in the city. Mackenzie family found murdered in a series of stabbings. And then down below here, it says pretty much the same thing. Mackenzie family found murdered in a series of stabbings in the city. A series of murders in the New York area close to Halloween. Again, with Stab the Musical right here. So the fact that this is twice on the poster, I thought the Mackenzies were going to be involved with Scream 6, which before it came out and this is what I thought. I did think it's weird, like, why would all the Mackenzies be in New York if they're all from Woodsboro? And I actually had a very thorough theory about this that I posted to my TikTok before Scream 6 came out. A theory that did not come true. So I thought that Samara Weaving's character was going to be related to Liv from Scream 5 because in my opinion, they look very much alike. So this was my theory that Samara Weaving was a Mackenzie, possibly Liv's sister, and that she was going to be in Stab the Musical, possibly playing Gail, just because of the outfit that she wears in the opening scene. It's like a neon yellowy greenish color, which obviously in the first movie, Gail wears that neon green suit. So my theory was Samara Weaving was a Mackenzie acting in Stab the Musical and possibly her family came to the city to see her perform and they were all going to be murdered. Obviously none of that happened and this Mackenzie stuff on the poster meant absolutely nothing, which I'm pretty bummed about. I don't know. I just thought that's weird. <laughs> I also would like to point out that in the crowd of people on this poster, there are seven ghost faces, which I find very interesting. There are seven down in the crowd and then of course the one big one. So technically there's eight. And you guys know that my theory for Scream 7 is that there's going to be a cult of ghost faces. 
a cult that has been somewhat present in Scream 5 and Scream 6. I think Richie and Amber were a part of Stu's cult as well as Jason and Greg. So I just think it's interesting that there's eight ghost faces on this poster. At first I counted five, I missed a few, and my first thought was like, of course there's five because there technically were five ghost faces in Scream 6. If you count the three Bailey family members, as well as Jason and Greg, that makes five. So I was like, oh, that makes sense. But then I spotted two more down here, plus the big one. So that makes eight. Could this be a subtle little clue about Stu Mocker's cult? And, you know, notice how the biggest ghost face is the one with the aged mask. So could that mean it's Stu as the leader of the cult? He's the biggest one. Which then brings me to this next poster, the subway map. So this subway map is full of past Ghostface victims and all of the dots are white except for whose? Stu Mockers. His is a shade of pink. It's very subtle, but if you look closely, it's a shade of light pink. So that's very suspicious to me. What does that mean? Is it a clue he's still alive? Why is his the only one that's colored differently? I just wanted to point that out to you guys. I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but this is not something that I talk about pretty often on this channel. I'm not sure if I've even mentioned it before. So I just wanted to bring that up to you guys and hear your thoughts on it. What do you think that means? And then something else with Scream 6's promo, in one of the trailers, Ghostface says, I'm something different. I'm something different. But nothing ever really came of that. That line is not even in the movie. And Ghostface was in fact not something different. <laughs> it was more of the same. I mean, he had the same motive as Nancy Loomis, pretty much revenge for their son's death. So Ghostface was not something different at all. And I don't know, I just think that's weird. Like before Scream 6 came out, I thought, oh, maybe this could mean Stu. Stu is something a little different because he would be the first Ghostface to come back. So it is something different for the franchise. Maybe that is a clue that he's going to come back eventually. Because you guys know, I do think that he was present in Scream 6, even though we didn't see him or know about it. I think he was the one who attacked Gale. So I just think it's interesting that that was in the trailer, but not in the movie. That's it for today. I just wanted to discuss some weird Scream 6 promo things that I noticed that never really amounted to anything. But what are your guys' thoughts? Leave a comment. Let me know. Please don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. Please also go follow me over on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video.